Hello guys, today I'm going to do a review on the comic book The Beauty. It just came out the last issue, the sixth issue of this um, of this trade that's coming out soon, I think. And uh, The Beauty is by Image. It's the um, it's by Jeremy Hall, J. A. Early, Angel Ranch, I think. This talks about um, a disease, a sex transmitted disease that makes people beautiful. Everybody wants to have it this day, like perfect and everybody wants to get the disease like half of the population already has it and the other half are just or are against it or just look bad to the people that have it or just trying to do a revolution around it for people not having it um, and it starts to uh, two investigators and there's a girl that has a disease and she's in the in the subway and just just explodes but she doesn't explode like she's exploded on the inside so just just stays intact and they don't understand why because the body is looks like it has died um, a long time ago but it's intact so it stays perfectly just just have crackers like a uh, porcelain doll that are broken but they don't understand why this is happening they don't know if it's because of the disease if something else is the matter so they started investigating the, the funny part about this is they are investigating the case and just they are figuring out that things are hiding so they uh, people are involved they shouldn't be uh, saying them that they don't don't uh, don't uh, have to look up and don't have to investigate and uh, just keeping them from doing their their work and they really starting to get bored of because they, they don't understand why this is not a, a police case and they want to do something else about it so uh, I think that's a really cool concept um, you can see by the covers, they, they look like magazine covers and every issue you can see that they are perfect, the body looks perfect, like makeup and everything and I think that's really really cool because you can see what they do in here, like in the fashion industry and everybody wants to be like the magazine, they want to be like the actors, they want to be like the fashion important people I don't know and if you're trying to do that too hard if you're trying to just harm yourself to be something that you're not and working for to be something that already exists and to be perfect that also could be a disease it's going to be harmful it's going to be bad for you and I think the way that they did this in in some way just work a little bit on, on that on this subject i think that's really really cool this this comic did something that i really appreciate just not a um a everyday story or just like a crime story you know it, it just opens another subject that you have that nowadays it's really difficult to talk about i think because everybody knows that but everybody wants to be something more everybody wants to be perfect everybody wants to be beautiful in some way or another you just you can accept yourself and try to be yourself better but not ruin, ruin your life doing it but some other people just take it too damn seriously just trying to uh, be something that they are not supposed to be, I think, because you have to accept the way that you are in trying to work from the inside out, even if you look perfect, uh, if you're not perfect from the inside, I don't know. It's the the thing that everybody knows, like beauty isn't everything, it can destroy your life if you are trying too hard to be something that you're not, and that's a really cool subject you can see on the covers, the way that they, okay, beauty is dead, you know? So. It's a really good, a good uh, way of uh, putting out there, and I think that comic books, especially uh, Image, are doing something really nice in comics. Just work on issues uh, that are really important nowadays, and like Bitch Planets, it's a really cool issue, I think, for that matters. Uh, 
Madame Frankenstein. I don't know if everybody, if anybody read that comic, but it's amazing. It talks about a really, a really cool subject. Um, I don't know. It just really gets gets you through it, and, and you can see that the way that they are investigating, it's really. Um, it's like a CSI story or series that it's that is uh, uh, real, if I if I can say like that, like it's a real way that they are investigating. Okay, the disease doesn't exist, but if it exists in another form, the things that they are do are real. The the thing the, the way that they are investigating is real. So I think it's a really really nice way of putting it uh, on the comic book, it's not um, very cartoony, I think, the way that they are talking about it, it's very, very real. You can see a little bit of the artwork. This is the lash issue, maybe I should show you the first. It is, it is really, really nice. Uh, and I haven't seen many reviews on this comic, and I, I think that people should start uh, looking at for it when, when the trade come out. If you haven't already picked the single issues, uh, pick up the trade. It's really, really good. I give it like four stars. I think I'm gonna give it four stars. This one, it's a really nice story. The way that it develops, uh, it just you know, like sometimes when you read the single issues, you have to read like the first two or three to understand the story. You can understand the, uh, can understand it, uh, in the first issue of this one, so just pick it up. I think it's a really, really good story. And I think that's about it. So thank you for watching and see you next time.